If you're a homeowner and you own an ozone generator, likely at some point the plates inside of it will need to be replaced. So let's dig in and learn how to do that. I already have the cover taken off of mine. This is just a small 6,000 milligram unit, I believe. Uh, Enerzen is the brand name. There are four screws that hold the cover on on each side. So take out those eight screws and that'll open you up to the inside here. It's a, kind of a simple machine, just a fan, a timer, your ceramic plate, and then a little ballast uh, electrical control box. I'm gonna turn it on and give you a run through of exactly how it works. Let's turn the lights off so we can see what's going on. You turn it on, you can hear that buzzing. And then you can hear the fan power up. You see that just kind of blue uh, glow, purple glow there. All right, I'm gonna turn that back off. I don't wanna breathe in too much of that stuff. Let me give you a quick run through of exactly what's going on there. So there are two types of ozone generators. There is a corona discharge and ultraviolet. The ultraviolet uses a, a UV light similar to what you might find in a water treatment uh, UV light. But this one is a corona discharge. And corona discharge, if you don't know, is uh, the effect that takes place when there's so much electricity, so high of a voltage in a conductor that it actually ionizes the air around it. If you've ever stood beneath a high voltage transmission line and heard uh, that slight buzzing and popping, that's actually a corona discharge effect taking place. More commonly, uh, static electricity, at a technical level it's a little bit different, but it's very similar to the way static electricity works. So, on this little ceramic plate, there are two pins coming out of the bottom, and there's a series of conductors on here that interact with each other and create, essentially, a, a, a zone that uh, is creating ionized air and that in turn turns O2 that we breathe into O3, which is ozone. You don't wanna breathe O3. Check out, uh, I'll link a video here uh, linking the, the dangers of ozone uh, and that I, I give kind of a more detailed explanation about that. So, okay, here we have a corona discharge ozone generator. Uh, this is what you're gonna find more in the lower end homeowner models. Uh, when you get into the high end commercial models, they're gonna be uh, mostly the UV light versions. So this plate will wear out, contact the company, they'll send you a new one, um, and it's pretty simple to replace. Of course, you just wanna make sure you unplug the machine, and then there's a clip right here, and you just pull that plastic clip up, don't wanna to go too far and break it, pull the plate out a little bit, and then just give it a wiggle up, and it'll pop out. Now you can see there's some grease on the back side of here. That's because here we have, there it is, you see it? There it is. Uh, this aluminum block behind is just a simple heat sink, just because this plate, uh, if it if the heat was not controlled on it, the plate would heat up and overheat. And so the heat sink just you know, sucks the heat away, and the grease just acts as an extra bonding layer to transfer the heat through to the heat sink. So I'm not sure exactly what kind of grease it is. You can scrape this off, reuse it, put it on the new one. I'm not gonna replace it because this plate is not worn out. But anyhow, you put it on the new one, and you just stick it back in place. Now, you might have noticed that about only half of the plate was lit up. Make sure that's clipped back in. Only about half of the plate was lit up. And if you've done any amount of reading, you'll see that ozone generators are often talked about not being as, affected, uh, as effective in humid conditions. That's, uh, that's very true, mainly for the corona discharge models, the UV light. Uh, ozone generators are not affected by humidity, but just as static electricity uh, is less prevalent in a human environment, so too the corona discharge effect is not going to be as strong in a human environment. Today it's about 85-90% humidity, we've had a lot of rain uh, this summer, so only about half of the plate is lit up and it's not going to be as effective. So if I were to actually go to use this in a room or a building uh, that I was trying to get a smell out of, I would want to wait, if I can, to a little bit drier day, either that or I'd have to go rent a commercial unit. If you want to learn more about ozone generators, why they work, and how to use one, I'll link a video in the cards at the end. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.